welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansi Ime, a space where we grow, we thrive, and to be the best of ourselves. Today we are looking at the topic about the other woman, the ex. Many times we get into relationships with this gentleman and he has probably come out of a very bad breakup and we do not recognize that the breakup has not completely erased the emotions this person carried for the other one. Before we even go to the point of knowing how he can, we can make him forget her, what are the signs that this person is still very connected to his ex or to the other woman? Number one, this person will keep talking about their ex in every conversation, even when it is not warranted. He will bring her to discussions, he will make references to her, he will make comments on her posts, he will basically be in her life and carry her along in his life at all times. To know that he has not gotten over her, he will even try to want you to be like her. The colors she loved, he will make sure that he chooses those colors for you. He will refer to the colors, the type of dresses that he likes. He will comment about how she used to be smart. He will comment about how people used to honor him at the times when he was with her. And so, in most cases, he wants you to be like her. Another point that shows he has not gotten over her, he will be so angry. He will be so angry at her. Now remember, there is a very thin line between love and hate. Okay? He will be so angry with her because he, his emotions are still attached to this lady. He is so connected that the fact that they separated, he cannot bear it. He cannot stand that fact and so he will generate so much anger and that should never make you comfortable, by the way, by saying, oh, he hates her so much. No, the hate could be a reflection of the deeper emotions that this person is still attached to this lady. And so, how do we make this person forget about the lady? How do we make this gentleman forget about his ex? Number one, never confront the ex. However much he talks about her, never confront him. Never go to fight with her. By going to fight with her, it shows how desperate and insufficient and less of a lady that you can be. She is in the past, and so let her be the past. You have him now, so let her be the ex. Don't fight her, don't confront her. Number two, be fun to hang around. When you are fun to hang around, when you are good company to this gentleman, when you do the things that make him desire to be with you, he will forget about the ex. For instance, when you are together, what are you talking about? Are you talking about things that make him laugh? Are you talking about things that build him up? Are you talking about things that bring the best out of him? Are you talking about things that build his confidence? Be fun to hang around. Let him desire to come time and again to come back to you. Let him look forward to being with you. If you can be fun to hang around, he will forget the ex. Number three, get to recognize the fact that you are unique, very unique. You cannot compare yourself to the other person. Don't desire to do the things that she did. Even when he mentions the good things that she did, be the unique person that you are. Do things in a unique way. Appreciate who you are. Appreciate your body type. Appreciate the way you talk. Appreciate that he left her for you. And so when you recognize the fact that he left her for you, and so you will not stress. Okay? You will not stress. Do not be obsessed by talking about the ex time and again. Many ladies keep talking about the ex. He comes late, you're quarreling. You have been with your ex. He makes a phone call, you're fighting. You're talking to your ex. And sometimes, maybe he even has a child with her. You are so obsessed 
when you get obsessed and you keep bringing this lady into your relationship, she will definitely occupy the, the, the position of the third person in your relationship. So don't be obsessed with her. If she has a child, appreciate the fact that they have a child and they can take care of this child time and time again. They will be in contact. And getting in contact with the ex doesn't mean that, you know, that the, the, the emotions are coming up again. It's the fact that there is something that unites them. And if you can, instead of getting obsessed, if you can accept this child to come and stay with you in the home. Number five, and the last one, the very last one. Do not allow him to bring this discussion about the ex time and time again. You have to say no. You have to tell him you do not enjoy conversations about his ex. Find something to replace those conversations. If you entertain these conversations, it means you're allowing your husband or your fiance to carry this person along in the relationship. Don't entertain conversations about the ex in the home. In number six, number six, guess what? What is it going to be? Avoid the mistakes. Sometimes this man discusses the things that got him to break up with this person. And so, avoid such mistakes as much as possible. For instance, if she was the type of person that maybe comes home very late all the time, avoid it. If she was the type of person who just talks anyhow, avoid it. If it was the type of person who never gave respect to this gentleman, avoid it. If he was gracious enough to talk about the mistakes she had, make sure you do better and avoid discussions that uh, that got them to, to break up. Now, suppose you do all these good things. You don't talk about her. You don't get obsessed with her. You don't fight her. You're fun to hang around. And you're everything good in this relationship. But the man still keeps hanging on to this relationship. What should you do? Should you keep hanging around and hoping things will get better? I would say a time comes in your life and you tell this gentleman that, look, I have done everything that I can to be the best that I can be in this relationship. But it seems you are still so hooked on the other person. And so it would be safer or better to give this other person space. It can be emotional space. It can be physical space. It can be some kind of space that you give each other to allow him here. And don't even give him an open ticket that, you know, he can go and mourn over this, uh, this ex, this other lady, and then he will still find you waiting. No. When you give space, it means he either heals or you move on. And when it comes to that and he still wants to, to be with the ex, then it's better you quit. It means he's not good for you. Give it a break. If you're not married, give it a break. If you're already married... I would pray that you get on your knees and pray and let God do your best. As we conclude, I'll call you to kindly subscribe to this video. I'll call you to like. I'll call you to share with us your own experiences about if you have any experiences about dating someone or someone you know dated a person who has never gotten bar over the past relationship. Thank you for watching. It was nice being with you. Share, subscribe, and let others know about this channel.